Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. It is a new brand day. I think it's been a while since I launched a new brand. Uh, so today it's going to be uh, Boda Design, B-O-T-T-A Design. They are a German company, German watches, really nice, really, really refined titanium cases. But the real common thread between all of them is a single hand, which I really think is cool. I've owned a Meistersinger Uno for a number of years, pretty cool. I always enjoy different ways of telling the time. I like my math clock. I own a Geochron world map clock. I have a pyramid clock. A whole bunch of other stuff. So, kind of interesting. We're going to check them out. I guess one German watch deserves another. So, my Damasco DS30 Ocean. And then, oh, well, not German watch. Islander. ISL 67. The Ice Blue Waffle Dial. This guy is coming back into stock. Yeah, it should be... Yeah, probably maybe even by the time you see this video uh, coming back really soon. Anyway, let's um, let's check out these cool watches. So there's a lot to show amongst the models that I got into stock. I think I got like 12 or 13 models. Um, I really tried to represent almost everything by just showing you four pieces uh, so we don't get inundated. I've got a 44 millimeter 24 hour quartz, a 40 millimeter 12 hour quartz, 44 millimeter 12 hour automatic and a 40 millimeter 24 hour quartz pricing um so we'll get right into it most of the quartz are between five and six hundred bucks and then the autos are clearly more expensive um starting around 14 or 1500 and some of them peak at like two grand or so so i'm going to start i guess it's with the simplest one this is the uh, Uno one hand 12 hour quartz model. So, just come in on it. Let's just go right into the specs. So, first of all, it's a 40 millimeter diameter, it's five and a half millimeters thin. Crazy thinness, if you will. We don't have to worry about lug tip to lug tip because the lugs are actually shorter than the watch. So, if it's a 40 millimeter, full 40 millimeter diameter case, it is 40 millimeters this way as well. Super comfortable. Lug width is 20 millimeters. You can change this to whatever strap you want. It is a just a black, simple leather strap. Uh, the case itself is titanium. This is all titanium. Look at the look at the uh, those are the texturing, the, the profile on the case. Super comfortable on the wrist. Super comfortable. Let's look at the case back real quick. 100% uh, titanium, handmade in Germany, five bar of water resistance, that's 50 meters. Uh, clearly not a swimmer's watch and uh, Bota and Uno. Uh, let's see, the watch runs on a Ronda 1062 Swiss quartz movement. They even tell you the battery type is a 321, easy to change. Uh, let's see, uh, let's, um, let's come on dial. So, no date, 40 millimeter titanium, 12 hours. Those of you unfamiliar with a one-handed watch, basically all they're doing is extending the hour hand out to the edge of the dial. It gives you the greatest um, amount of precision, if you will, because it gets amplified. And there's no minute hand. So when we are looking at this watch, it's a 12-hour dial. So this is um, noon and midnight, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. down here, standard dial. And let's look at the time. It is 3 40, 345 plus another mark, so 350. And the way they segment out the dial just makes perfect sense, almost like a um, like a ruler or a scale. The large bold lines are the hours. The shorter ones there is the half hour. Shorter still is the 15, and then the shortest is the five. So you can quickly look at a glance without having to do the math. You can kind of see where it is. Right now it is 350. Now I don't know if it's AM or PM. I could open a window and look. Um, unless I'm in a casino, then I can't open a window because then I'll have other problems. Uh, the 24-hour model will take care of that. Super light, guys. 30-something grams, 32 grams, so it's titanium, so hypoallergenic. Oh, the crystal. It is a domed sapphire. There is AR on it, uh, inside and outside. They are very particular about their AR, and you can see it does look smashing. Uh, this particular watch is um, 595. So let's move on. I'm just gonna kind of have some crazy notes here. Uh, my next one that I wanted to look at, sorry for the shakiness, 
is, yeah, it's this one. No, it's not. It's this one. Okay. So actually, this and this are kind of the same watch, just differing in size. So I could have started with this one. But it doesn't really matter. The price difference between them is about 50 or 60 bucks just based on the size. So let's go through this one. So this is now another Uno. It is the 24-hour scale. Now we have the Boda name on the dial. So up here is noon. Down here is um, midnight. This hand will revolve once per day. Um, I didn't show you how to set this watch. It's a standard quartz movement. I mean, you pull out the crown and you boink, boink. That's it. Um, so this is kind of the same way. You pull out the crown to set the time, but we have a date now. So you'll see that when the hand passes with gloves, not easy. When the hand passes through midnight, that's when the date will change, okay? So I might just edit this out. There we go. There's the date change. So midnight, 1 a.m., blah, 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 blah. Oh, and then one click out, and we'll do the date. There you go. You can see it. The, the crowns are extremely unobtrusive, and they have no texturing on them so with my gloves it's kind of hard to do uh it comes in like this white and blue comes in a white and green white and orange really nice watches this guy is 40 i said 44 i'm sorry it is 45 millimeters so 45 millimeter in diameter eight and a half thick to a domed sapphire crystal same double dome um the tip to tip obviously is taken by the case 45 millimeter the case on this one though still titanium they're all titanium but now the sides are even the profile is even more interesting extremely comfortable to wear this you're looking at like a pie pan sort of dial right there's no bezel to speak of so the watch even though it's 45 i would say even wears larger than a 45 at least visually but maybe with a one-handed watch you kind of want the larger dial 22 millimeter leather strap nice signed buckle uh i think i went over everything on this one as well so like i zoomed up let's zoom really back in really quick so we can kind of see how we read the time. 2, 15, 30, uh, excuse me, 2, 10, 2, 20, 2, 30. So it's 2, 20 a.m. because we're on the bottom half of the dial. Look at the markers. You can see the work on that? Look at the 6 over here, how the markers stick out. Beautiful work on the dial. There's really a lot going on here. Very simple. Uh, they are award-winning uh, designed watches, and you can clearly see why I'm going to flip this over here and I'm going to go to so now we'll go to the 40 millimeter uh, Uno 24 one-handed watch very similar there's really not much different here uh, it is 40 millimeters in diameter now by seven thick we have that a similar profiling on the case I want to bring up the first watch real quick this one just to show you that the case profiling is a little bit different okay you see how the one in my right hand is almost we'll say eaten away a little bit more Kind of slim down some more for the weight. Crazy, crazy how light these are. Like I said, titanium, very simple, just a quartz movement in them. This is a Ronda 515 movement in this guy. Uh, the big white one I showed you before had the same exact movement. Nice green accents. Dial is done well. Light gray, dark gray. Zoom in on the dial again. So this one, so let's see, guys. What, what time would you be looking at here? We'd be looking at... So 1, 2, 3 p.m., 3.30, just after 3.40 p.m. would be the time on this one. Very nicely done. So the last one I want to show you is the one hand 12 hour with the automatic movement. And I spoke out of turn before. This guy happens to be stainless steel. He's plated black. Um, but most of their watches are titanium. I apologize. Uno automatic 12 hour one hand, 44 millimeter in diameter, eight thick very uh, crazy right 8.8 thick excuse me to a uh, double dome sapphire ar crystal 22 millimeter strap nice stitching on this is a really nice strap the other straps are kind of eh, kind of generic i mean they're straps they're nice this is like beautiful saddle leather and this guy comes in a black dial uh he comes in a white dial white dial and he comes in a, a non-black case as well it is running on a an etta 2824 now these are regulated uh, by a watchmaker in the factory before uh, hitting my shelf. So you know it is going to be very accurate. Uh, there you can see through the case back the beautiful Etta movement. Boda design 
automatic, handmade in Germany. This guy's water resistant to three atmospheres or three bar. Again, not that it really matters. No one's really taking these out into the ocean or the pool, but it's a regular. Because this is a hand winder, I mentioned before the crown's usually smooth. There's texturing on the crown, so I can easily wind it, and then I can easily change the time. And date is at the six. Again, 12 hour dial, so this hand will revolve twice a day. Okay, twice a day. Thus, you get the accuracy. So right now, the watch is showing three, um, 307 or so, right? Yeah, 307. It's halfway between 305 and 310. Nice silver hand, black dial. I will try on a 40 and a 44 so you can check them out. So to start with here is that 40 titanium, so light, so comfortable. There is no loom on these. We're not doing loom shots. Um, you can imagine if it was and you're trying to tell the time in the dark. You'd be holding it right up to your nose trying to look at it. Extremely comfortable. Looks great on my wrist, my six and three quarter inch wrist. Here I am on the strap, okay? Um, but I'm curious, really interested to see how the 44 looks. So here's the 44. I, I'm going to say definitely oversized. These remind me of pilot's watches um, with the absence of a bezel for the most part. So they wear larger. On the tip to tip, I'm fine. But looking at it, it does look like I'm, you know, I have an apple pie on my wrist. Um, again, my wrist is small. Small-ish. I would say normal male is about seven to seven and a quarter. Um, so there's definitely a market for the larger watch. Uh, but nonetheless, there you can see it here. And that'll do it, uh, our little trip down a uh, one-handed way. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you Boda design watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.